Oh, the pink penguin. The pink penguin, okay. Starts up. Oh, goes for the nair. Nice. Throws the guard, though. Dancho, okay. The fair gets the setup. Many up airs. DDD already at 71%. Yes, I agree. There's no reason to go DDD in this matchup. It's really, really hard. I don't agree that too much. But he gets one hella hard read. That's all he needs. Yes, is it bravery or stupidity? I can't tell yet. Yeah, they're not showing too great right now. It's so hard. At this matchup, I don't. It's so really hard. I, now I feel for the DDD because he gets hit. It's seventy percent up, up his. It's so hard. And now it goes seventy, eight ninety. Oh god, this is not looking great for Kulam. And now I'm joined by Derg. What is up, beautiful people of the stream? I, I'm just in time to see the uh, the wreckage. <laughs> Brings it back, Hadden. Well, actually, he managed to uh, attack on 75% on Sasha's Fox as DDD and take a stock. It's not over, guys. A little combo, and it might be over for Sasha if he's not careful. But oh god, misses the up smash. Course, the up smash will take the stock. I was gonna say that the matchup Everly uh, favors Fox. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think it couldn't be. It could be more bad for a character. No landing options. Pretty fat. Really slow. Uh, yes. And now we see the Sonic that I expected it to be. That, that's what I was. Uh, I was gonna say. I, I thought that Kulam kind of dropped DDD. Yeah, what he told me earlier is that he's going DDD when he's able to, but against Soswell, might be a little bit greedy. Yeah, it might be a difficult matchup for sure. And then, of course, the counterpick was uh, Final Destination, because if you guys didn't know, we actually choose the stage before choosing the characters. The way it works is that the winner of the, the, the first game bans a stage that he doesn't want to go on. Yes. And then the loser has to choose a stage between the six remainder stages. So what happened here is that uh, there was a ban, uh, uh, let's say Battlefield, but I don't think the ban was Battlefield since uh, Sanswell enjoys that stage, but let's say it was Battlefield, and then Kulam chose to go on Final Destination, and then asked Sanswell if he was going to stay Fox, which he did, and then he had the right to counterpick a character. So he has an advantage here in which he chose his stage that he wanted to play on, and then chose a character that is very good on that stage. Yes, and now he gets the F smash that's going to be going to take rid of Sansuel's stock. Currently it seems to be paying off. Yes. Oh. Oh, gets it locked, but misses the... Uh, yes, the he hit. tried to get the roll read with an up smash. The neft tilt would have... Uh, would have caused the jab lock, so... Up here? Not yet. Okay, so... Now we get game. an even game. Uh, a thing that you have to note th is that most Sonic says, Sonic says, <laughs> and <laughs> that the Fox matchup is actually really hard for them because they cannot play the passive games too long, since the lasers are really overwhelming. That and Fox can actually keep up with Sonic real good in terms of speed. Yes, uh, and it's hard for Sonic to le to find any landing. If you've used your jumps and your spin dash, you, pr you probably will be punished for landing, that's for sure. Yes. Okay. Now, Sansuel uh, seems to have um, uh, dropped the autopilot for, uh, that he had probably at the beginning of the game and now adapted very well. He's, uh, he's been able to even the game, uh, even percentage wise, and taking a small lead there. Lasering a little bit. Okay. 
up tilt, goes for the up air. Of course, if Sonic uh, Sonic wants to camp the spin dash, he's going to get lasered until he wants to commit. Yes. So Fox is one of the rare characters get that, get, that can actually out camp Sonic in that situation, especially yes. on FD. It forces Sonic to play a mid range game, which they are not usually used to. I think that's the reason why Sonic players think that the matchup is bad, is because they're so used to play the bait, wait and bait game, but in this matchup they can't. They have to approach, they have to bait stuff. Not, not that I say that. Sonic players never bait anything, but it's just the way they have to bait is much different from their usual game plan. Well, the up tilt almost takes it, but Sonic's at full rage. A uh, good combo out of the spin dash with the up air will probably kill. And now, at 63%. any mistake from Kulang is gonna seal the deal. But now, okay, it goes for the up smash. All oh, right. Yeah. He and missed the read on the roll. I feel that Kulang should have stayed uh, Sonic. From the beginning, Sonic game yeah. One, yeah. 